Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of my post for the Altenew Stampin' Die release for May 2019. Today I'm going to be using the new Basic Blooms stamp set along with the uh, mask and stencil. They do also have coordinating dies, but I won't be using them for today's video. And I'm also going to be using some circle nesting dies. As I normally do with Altenew stamp sets, I'd love to show you the inside of the trifold pamphlet where there are tons of inspiration and uh, even ink color inspiration, as well as a layering guide on the back of the pamphlet. This basic bloom stamp set is a really simple layering stamp set. So it's great for people who haven't gotten a chance to do a lot of layered stamping, and also just for people who prefer to have a really nice, simple, layered stamp set instead of a bit of a more complicated one. The outcome is just as beautiful, but really simple to layer. So I'm going to be using these circle nesting dies in one case for a mask. So I am cutting out this size from a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to be using this as a mask on my A2 sized card front. To adhere it and to make it a stable mask that won't move around, I'm going to be using some repositionable or removable adhesive. I'm using the Scotch brand, and I really like this brand for a few reasons. Uh, one, it just wipes right away without any residue, which I really love. And two, I use this permanent tape runner as well, and it is a green uh, case, and this one is a blue case, so it's very easy for me to be able just to go in and reach for whichever one I need at the moment. I'm going to be using this circle mask to create two wreaths at the same time. So there'll be different renditions of wreaths. One will be the outer wreath and one will be the inside of the wreath. I really love using wreaths on cards because I think that they're beautiful and you get to bring a lot of color in with them. So today I'll be using some mini ink cube sets from Altenew. I'm using shades of purple, cool summer night, green fields, and red cosmos. I love using these mini ink cube sets because it takes the guesswork of layering out for you. You've got the lightest to darkest right there and you don't need to think too much more about it. Again, what I'm going to be doing is creating two different sets of wreaths just by one pass through. Now, if you've ever done layered stamping, you know that it can be a bit tedious. So as many projects as you can get out of just one go through with the layered stamp sets, the better in my opinion. So I'm going to be using some different colors here and I want to be totally transparent with you and let you know that at the end, I do show you the outer wreath card and this is a separate one that I stamped. I did this for a couple of reasons. One, I did want to be able to show you the different color combinations that you can get. But two, I wanted to keep the video sort of to the technique itself, and I had already created that card. So I wanted to be able to create one card here with you, which is the inner wreath card, but I showed you how I created the outer wreath card for the same exact technique. So here I am just stamping these all these layers so the first layer down the second layer I do with a slightly darker color or the next color in the set and so on and so forth these flowers actually do have a second layer which is the center of the flower but I actually stamp them all together on the final layer and I use the same center I they have their each individual center for these flowers but I found that just using the one stamp actually worked pretty well for all of them. So I used a really nice bright yellow color for that. It really brings out the colors of the flowers and I really love that they have those center flowers, the center pieces separate so that you can bring in a really bright yellow or darker color depending on the color that you're using for your flowers. So I went ahead and sped through this a little bit and I'm also going to show you in a minute how I use the masks here. So obviously I want a lot of fullness for my wreath. I want to be able to create this illusion of a circle even though I'm not drawing a circle in. So to do that I'm going to be using these masks that come in the mask and stencil set. I love this because it allows me to use these masks but not have to cut them out. I am not a huge fan of cutting out masks so 
if anything can take the work out for me, I'm all for it. And I love these mask and stencil sets from Altenew. They're extremely affordable and I use them anytime I want to create a fuller image rather than just having one solid image. I like to have a little bit of dimension and using them to create a one layer image with lots of dimension still in it. Using these masks and this technique when stamping a wreath specifically is extremely helpful, like I said before, to get that dimension and the one layer image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a few more stamps here with the different layers. And I'm trying to grow this wreath outward. So I not only want the stamps, I have to remember that I not only want the stamps to fill in the outside of the circle mask, but I also want there to be a good consistency on the inside of the circle mask if I want to make both of these pieces work separately for two different cards. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this circle mask off here. I then just have to rub off that repositionable adhesive on the back side of the circle mask and it comes right off. You get a little bit of those pieces, uh, but you can just kind of wipe them away. There's no tearing or ripping of the cardstock, which is brilliant, wonderful. The first example I'm going to show you here is the outer wreath card that I created. And as I said before, I'm going to show you one that I had made previously with this technique. And here I used the warm and cozy uh, mini ink cube set, as well as the red cosmos and green fields again. And I really love the way that it came out. The center uh, sentiment, the fancy one there is from Fancy Greetings, which is a, another new stamp set from the May release from Altenew. And I really love how classy and beautiful the font is there. I'm going to go ahead now and start on my uh, inner wreath card. So I've got my card front here, which is three and three quarters by four inches. And then I've got my card base, which is four inches by four and a quarter inches. I'm using a square card here because I really love the way that large circle uh, die cuts or focal points look on a square card when it can be centered. I'm using the fancy greeting stamp set again, and I'm just sort of playing around to see which sentiment I think fits best in the center there. Now obviously this is a very understated wreath. This is just the center and it's a pretty small center, which is why I went ahead and made a very small square card base. But I think that it will give a lot of impact, especially if it's just a nice little hello note. So I go ahead and use the sentiment Hello Lovely from the set and I'm using a gold embossing powder to uh, emboss that sentiment there into the center of that wreath. I use a powder bag before I stamp this so that the embossing powder won't stick to anywhere except for the Versamark ink where I've stamped the sentiment. I really love the nice little shine that it gives there. I'm going to end up adding a few pieces of embellishments. Uh, but first, what I really want to do is make this wreath pop out. So I'm going to use the next size up nesting die with some vellum. And vellum is just a translucent uh, paper that you can really do a lot with, especially on cards. I love using it to embellish some cards or to make certain things stand out. So I'm going to make my wreath stand out a little bit more, but I want this to look a little more custom. So I'm going to take the frosty pink mini ink cube and I'm going to just ink up one side of this vellum cutout. Now this isn't going to give it a whole lot of color, but it is going to give it a little bit of something. I'm going to end up putting my wreath cut out on top of that vellum piece. I'm going to center it with some glue and just to make sure that I get it all nice and flat with no warping, I'm going to put a really large acrylic block over the top of it so that it can rest flat and it dries that way. I've let it sit for a while and then I'm going to adhere that to my three and three quarters by four inch card front with foam tape. And then I'm going to adhere that to the four by four and a quarter inch card base also with foam tape.
I went ahead and added a few embellishments, like I said, around just to give it a little bit more sparkle. And then that was my second card. I really love that I got both of these really beautiful and different cards just from one session of stamping. And I hope that you maybe learned a few things that you can use in your crafting as well. As always, all of the links to the products used as well as my blog and Instagram are in the description and the link to my blog, which is part of the blog hop for all to nude today. Lots of prizes to be won. So make sure that you check that out as well as tons of inspiration over there. Thanks so much for stopping by. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.